Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Adventure Pals. So, I think I... Yeah, I've got enough. I'll get another hat. Ugh. Top hat. For me? Sure, why not? Let's get out of here. I feel weird playing this game to some degree, because... Like, usually I try and at least talk about the game occasionally. There's, like, nothing to talk about. It's not a bad game. It's just very repetitive and not very difficult. Huh. If I were a quest-related berry, I'd be in a chest like that. It's just logic. I'll bet those chests will be wherever we find the special berries the foxes need. Oh, boy. I'm coming for you, Mr. Squirrel, and you are not going to survive it. So I just... Oh, okay. I don't have to pay money to uh, get these chests open. I was worried about that for a second. You thought you could get past Mr. Bunny. But no. That was a fatal error. Whee! The animation and stuff is lovely, though. I, I would love to see the uh, these guys make something uh, closer to, I don't know, Castle Crashers or, oh man, actually like a, a I know this one's cooperative, but I want to see like Castle Crashers levels of like fun, if that makes sense. I don't know, there's just something purely enjoyable about playing Castle Crashers. It was the, like, combination of, of, like, uh, cartoony charm with... It was the combination of, like, cartoony charm with a <laughs> kind of, uh, non-stop fart jokes and quality, like, cooperative gameplay. It just felt really good. I've always been a little bit disappointed there haven't been, like, other games quite as good. There was... I guess there was, like, uh, Viking Squad and, uh, and Full Metal Furies recently, which were both fantastic. Okay, level up. Coin Magnet, Counter Attack, or Mr. Rock Attack? Let's go Mr. Rock Attack. I suddenly doubt his ab ability to orbit me and attack enemies. Owing to the fact that I don't see him orbiting me or attacking enemies. Maybe it only works for, like, official combat situations. Or it's a lie. Who knows? I guess I should break mailboxes for small denominations. Probably not like I need to, though. We can't break anything with that. I'm kind of disappointed I can't shuck Mr. Rocket enemies as, like, a... as a projectile. Well, I think I got a dud. Is my assumption. Maybe it'll show up here now that I'm in combat. Oh yeah, there it goes. So I guess he will only show up if I'm actually fighting enemies. Otherwise, he just checks out. It's fine. Anyway, yeah, I feel weird playing this game. Uh, this game, like a couple other games... Uh, because, like, after a certain point, I'm not even, like, doing a Let's Play series on them. I'm just doing a Let's Rant About Stuff while I'm here, uh, while I'm here, because I do not have anything else. I did that with, like, Cavern Kings and, uh, ow. I think that's the first time I ever got hit by one of these guys. I did that with Cavern Kings, and I did that with, uh... Binding of Isaac a lot. I always feel a little weird. Because, like, I don't know, people probably want to watch me play this game, but... And, like, I always try and kind of get that happy medium between, like, me just ranting about junk and, uh... And, you know, actually commenting on it, but, like, there is just nothing notable. Which isn't necessarily a black mark against this game. It, it is enjoyable enough. 
I think it's just never been been to the point where it's like complicated enough to talk about it. Watch this game get. Oh, I was not paying attention. There's a hot dog man shitting up there. I didn't even notice him. At least the collectibles are nice and easy to find. I know we got bosses at some point that I'll have to fight. I can't imagine they're going to be very hard though, considering I'm loaded with health potions. It's like saying the uh, bosses in uh, in uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn were difficult. Yeah, I guess they could be difficult. But they're also just straight up and uh, like you had you were just invulnerable. The only thing that it really changed was like yarn balls if you lost. Oh, that's an easy easy fix. Uh which direction do we go? I don't actually know. Clearly this way. Okay. You know, when I was first starting out on YouTube, I was pretty... I'm not gonna say I was pretty purist, unlike only talking about the game. I would talk about whatever I could, which maybe is where I got this habit. Because I never started as a traditionalist YouTuber. I kind of watched them and I was like, I want to do that too, but I'm commentating alone and I can't think of what to say. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think you could, yeah, you could still find the, the series on my channel, but, um, when I was, did I, did I get this? I think I got this. Oh, yeah. Not that I really need it. I can just wall jump off of nothing. Well, not nothing. There we go. Uh, I can just wall jump off of one singular wall, Mega Man style, to get places. Anyway, um, yeah, when I was first starting out, I more or less was like, I wanna, I wanna learn how to solo commentate. I get the feeling, uh, going down there is a bad move. We'll see. That was one of these. Well... Thank you, hook shot location. How do we get down here? I'm actually not sure. Oh. I got it. I got it. Ow! Ow! I would like dodge backwards, but it wasn't enough. It was like every time I hit his shield. Yeah, so that's how we get down there. I should probably just use one of my healing potions. Uh, let's see. There's nothing else around here, yeah? I'm always afraid there's going to be something hidden up above. I mentioned Mega Man. I used to play a lot of Mega Man X when I was a kid. Love that game. It's really well done. It had some dirty secrets. Especially the Hadouken. I didn't even know about the Hadouken until until I started this job. I, I, one of my friends, uh, Game Face Max, was just like... Did I get the... Yeah, I must have gotten the cupcake for this level like right off the bat. Uh, Game Face Max had like a video of him and his friends uh, sitting around trying to get the Hadoken. It was like a half hour video of them just repeating a jump over and over and over again. I was like, wait, that's a thing? I played, I've played through Mega Man X, I want to say like 20 times? Because, you know, my parents wouldn't let me buy a whole lot of games when I was a kid. You just go play something that you've already, uh,. You know, just go, just go play more Mega Man. You own that game. 
Doesn't get boring, does it? Sorry. Giving my parent. Uh, I'm being, I think, a little bit too hard on my parents here. They're lovely people. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think they understand the, uh, the concept of variety as the spice of life. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. For now. And if this turns out to be the wrong spot, then I'll deal with it. I don't think it is, though. This seems like the right way to go. Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, so we get turtle damage. And back we go. Whee! Yeah, I played through Mega Man like a billion times. Never, ever found out about Hadouken being in it. If you don't believe me, like, it's a, it's a thing. You can... You can look it up. Like, if somebody had told me that in elementary school, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I actually played Mega Man X when I was in, um, uh, oh, well, that's convenient. I played Mega Man X when I was, uh, before I was in elementary school, before I could read. Um, that's a weird feeling. There we go. Got everything as usual. Uh, but yeah, if somebody had told me told me uh, you could get Hadouken in Mega Man X. I, for starters, I would have been like, you know, you're crazy. Uh, also, what's a Hadouken? Uh, and two, I would have... I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. I would have been very confused. That's like saying, like, you could get the... You could get Mew by going in, into uh, where the SSN was and, like, digging or some weird hokey nonsense. I don't know how many of you guys did that, uh, with, as kids. Okay, that is adorable, whatever the heck it is. It's like a sheep? Or a fly? I'm not sure. Anyway, this is a really short episode. Let's go see about, uh, ugh. Damn, my nose is all runny. Oh, well, let, let's go, uh, turn in the quest. Not that it seems to do anything for us. I wonder if I could just never turn in a quest. Aw, oh, man. Sweet. Thanks, little bro. This is the most triumphant. This is most triumphant. Now to mix it up. Some of that. Pinch those. Give it a wiggle and... That potion will make you unstoppable for a short time. Select it from your backpack. You know how to do that, right? It'll, like, blow your mind, little dude. Just go easy for your first time. Okay, I guess that actually did have a tangible benefit. Unlike all the other ones. Okay. Let's go see if, uh... I think I have a boss fight coming up. So let's let's take on the boss, because that level was way too short. I guess before then, I'm going to blow my nose. Okay. Boss fight time, probably. Is he wearing? Nah! <laughs> Thanks for the rubies, sucker! Treefist! Show this dim-witted dorkus some Treeville hospitality! This is how I heard him. So I gotta wait until his pants come down. Everything else is pointless. Oh, okay. So... Oh, the... The little trees attack me. Ow, what? Oh! They come out of him. I was wondering about that. 
Oh, he's almost dead. Man, I didn't even have to use a health potion on this guy. Okay, and I can't stand on that. Even if I wanted to. Okay, now let's be in position, and he's dead. Well, that was easy. Ow! Oh, it's Mr. B, of course. Okay, I guess he's got more of a yeah kind of voice. I'm sorry. I'll use that next time. I was trying to make him sound a bit more posh. It's hard one way or another. You know, if I had any doubt that Mr. B wasn't cool, it's definitely gone. We can't save everyone if we're in prison. We have to find a way out. I realize I'm supposed to be escaping, but first I must execute. Okay. I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to do. It kind of seems like no matter what button I press... Wow. Of course. Papa! Oh wait, no. Papa, I'm glad I found you. We've been captured and held prisoner by Mr. B. You kids are all the time getting into trouble. Now how am I supposed to get you out of this? Hey, let's cut to the chase. What do I gotta do to get you to let these kids go? Meow. You think I was born yesterday? I knew you can talk. Oh, well it was worth a shot. Sorry old B, not just strict orders from Mr. B, don't you know? But perhaps I could be tempted to look the other way for five rubies? Five rubies? Why are you busting my shops? That's my entire life savings. Can't be helped, old chum. Five rubies is the cost. Pay all your friends rotten jail. Fine, fine, just let them go. So now we have to pay back dear old daddy, I guess. My voice acting is not gonna be consistent for the series or game. You kids have gotten into a lot of trouble for the last time. Papa Rock, you're a sight for sore eyes. You clowns just cost me my life savings. Here, come over with me until you pay me back in full. Thanks for the rescue. But we need a roll. I got some parents to rescue. Think you're gonna just walk off without repaying all those rubies? That was my life savings. I was saving those rubies to repair my castle. Now we'll need to need sand to do it ourselves. Sand? But it's everywhere. It's in my socks as we speak. This ain't sand, it's rock painted yellow. And watch out for bandits. The kind we got here ain't as friendly as your dear folk in Treevale. Now get to work. Ah, I now I can't afford that vacation. What the hell? Is that that's the mother. Oh, that's horrifying. I am actually uncomfortable about that. Ugh. Anyway, we're here now. Yay! So, that's one region done. I wonder how many regions we have. I guess I could check the achievements. For now, though, I'm gonna go blow my nose. See you guys next episode! Oh. Huh. Maybe that's like a fast travel location down there. Kinda looks like one.